all right so when it comes to downloading data for um for your gis projects um data is usually categorized into uh, raster data and vector data okay so in this particular video i'm going to show you how to um get uh, what's the name vector data for your project okay subsequently we'll look at various avenues to get raster data for your project so in this case i'm going to show you a few websites which i mostly use that um, give shape files mostly the vector data i prefer to use as shape files there are other kinds of formats but the most widely used formats are shape files or dot shp files okay so that's what we are trying to download here now the first site is called DivaGIS. Okay, DivaGIS. I will attach the links to these websites on the video. So the first one is DivaGIS. All you have to do is look for the name of your country, the country you want to um, download information or shape files about. In this case, I'm selecting Ghana. And then the subject, whether you want roads, shape files, railways, elevations, land cover, population. Anyway, for now, let's choose the administrative areas so that it will just give us an outline of the various maybe regions or districts of, of Ghana, depending on what they have available. Okay. So in order to download, after you select between these two categories, you hit OK and then you allow it to load. Okay, so over here you hit on download like this. And then there you go. So it I'm just going to redirect it to where do I put it? Um I will just put it here for now, okay? So I'll just put it inside the where I downloaded my QGIS um setup into. So yeah, it's basically downloaded. Um for this first one, I'm just basically going to show you how to do it. Um or how it look like after you've done downloading it then subsequently it's not all of them I'm going to go deep into explaining how to download it because it's basically the same process but this is it it comes as a zipped file so all you have to do is to extract it and then you would have it here as a dot shp file okay so let's look at how to download from the rest um so that was divagis now we have geofabric now over here they have paid and uh, well free shape files okay depending on so if you are looking for the paid versions of them this is that you can read through what they have to see the difference between the paid and the free versions okay so over here i'm just going to click on download and then um you choose the say continent you want information about okay so you can download the whole package this is an um an osm file so you can download the whole package or you can zoom in in this case they don't have shape files for the whole of africa but if i should break it down by clicking on africa then i have the option to choose my country here ghana like this so if i select ghana you can see that over here they have data um shape file data for ghana all right so i'll just is this ghana all right the blue one so i'll just ask about 65 megabyte i'll just click on it and download it to the same folder i was downloading and um similarly so that's that you basically locate the region you want and look for the type of note ArcGIS can take all these data types but it's good you work in a well-known format so that it's easy to share your files and move your files from one environment to the other okay that's why i prefer shape files so whilst it downloads i will show you some more um, one of the famous ones, one of the ones I like to use of, often is export um, export OSM. Okay, so export OSM is just a, uh, just an option under the OpenStreetMap um, environment that allows you to download data. Before I proceed, I would like to point out that you can actually contribute data of your community to OSM. That's what that's how beautiful OSM is. It allows you to add local data of your place to OSM. I think you should check that out later on um, but in order to use osm you need to have an account with them so you have to log in all right so you create an account i'm already logged in just create an account and then you log in like me i think i should log out and log in again so if i hit on login it will give me the chance to log in so 
I think because it just I'm already logged in, so it only asked me to grant access. So if you are new, you probably have to go through a longer procedure before you, but it's not so long. It's just within a three minutes, um, a, a three minute procedure. You should be able to finish it up. So you log in, and then you come back to export OSM like I have done. Then I hit on start exporting. Okay, it's my favorite way of doing it. I look for the place I want. You can search for it if you want, but I mostly just zoom in. So for instance, I want um data regarding a certain part of Ghana, maybe uh, let's say Accra. Okay, I want data regarding Accra. Now, um, you, if you are new to it, you may not be able to download a certain data set, a certain quantity of data sets, because um, perhaps because you are new to it. But as time goes on, and if you are someone who supports the OSM um, OpenStreetMap with with data, for instance, you you also contribute by mapping places onto the database. Then you you have the opportunity to download more. So, for instance, I can download a chunk of this country or even the whole of the country if I want to. But you may want to download, and they will not allow because you don't have that clearance yet. Or how do I put it? Well, you are not allowed to download more than a certain data set. Okay, so. Let's say I want information about Accra, so I'm just going to take this box here. There are several ways you can use the pencil tool and draw around the area you want your information to cover. It's it's as simple as that. And then like this. Okay, like this. Or you can use the box. You can use this box here and just a rectangle, not a box. You can use this rectangle and just select what you want like this. And then you, there you go. Okay. Um, it's pretty this it's pretty much the same thing. So all I have to do is I would give it my project name So I could say Accra All these are not standard. They're just to allow you to know what you did. Okay, then I could probably say urban Project or something Perhaps I'm working on urban morphology. Let me say urban morphology I'm just call it projects like this All right, so urban projects then I just hit on next and um I select the type of data I want. I want it as a shape file, not as a jewel package. You can select all these, and these are all um, uh, what's the name? These are all vector shape uh, formats. Okay, so like I've been mentioning, we have jewel packages, coming shape files, KML, PBF. I think you saw PBF earlier on. Yeah, so we have maps with me, and all those. There are several, several, several um, vector formats you can download your data in, but the most widely used are shape files and perhaps KMLs and geo packages, but mostly it's just shape files. So download shape files. So I select shape files and I hit on next um, next over here. Um, the feature type, those are under the attributes. You can choose to ignore it or select what you need. I could I, I could ignore it. Then I hit on next. Now over here, all you have to do is ask it to publish this export so that next time you come, you can easily just get it, okay? So I'm going to publish and then I'm going to hit create export now um, you have to give them time to to get the data you need for you right depending on how much data sets you've you've tried to download so you just give them a few seconds and uh, it should it should be ready for you to download just a few seconds the status will turn to download or something you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. All right, so, well, it took about a minute or so. Anyway, so you should receive an email by the time it's done, and thus the running would change to completed. Okay, so at the end of the day, you have the shape file you can download here, and it's about 23 megabytes. So I can just hit on download and then it would give me the chance to download it. So I download it into the same folder like this. And that should be it. So um, that was export OSM for you. So next time you come and you need the same data, you can just clone it or rerun the whole thing. Or, you know, it's published. So you, you can do anything you want with it. Or you can start afresh by creating a new download. You know, go to a different country or a different place. So that was export OSM for you. Now there are others. Okay, that's a start cell. Start talk. Um, for that, it's also pretty simple. Uh, where let me see. They they have different kinds of data sets. Okay, so what I is it's I only use this one a couple of times. That that was 
okay good down here so over here you have the chance is this is just similar to the geofabric you look for a certain town or a certain um, country then you zoom in or you just download the whole data set i'm not sure what kind of data set they provide for start silk i discovered it some few some few weeks ago anyway so um i'm trying to find ghana actually and i don't know i don't know if i've passed it or because i've been talking all that while okay i think i've passed ghana Mm -hmm. Anybody seeing Ghana? Oh, it's not. It's not. But I, I guess they have. They don't have data for it because I'm seeing other countries here. I can see Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, and the rest. Anyway, so um, I'm not so sure how this one provides the services though, but it's 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 also similar to um, Geofabric. Okay. So um, all you have to do is look for the country you have. I don't know why Ghana is not there, but look for the country you, look, um, you, you want to work on. I think Nigeria is close by, so I'll just hit on download here and I have the chance to download. I don't think I need data from Nigeria, so I'm going to cancel it. Uh, cancel. Right, so it's basically, that's basically it. Now this last one, I it's, it's also very cool. It's called um, Map Cruising, okay? Now they have a lot of data sets actually lots of them you can choose to look for your place here you can search for Ghana here if you I mean depend on what country you are working on or you can come here and look for it so let's say there's Ghana here um I'll, don't worry, I'll attach the links to these websites just like in the GIS, you can select whether it's administrative or coastline roads places natural features points of interest blah 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 so anyway it's just the same thing i'm going to select uh, what do i want let me select water okay i'm going to select water and hit on download and then i would also select natural features and hit on download i think that's 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 all i need right now so basically you can download any kind of I mean any kind of shape file from these places that well I don't know there's no real real line okay there's no real line here I'm sure either they've put it inside this road or they don't have it at all sometimes they because they are all under networks so and if you check up here you can see that there are other like we have weather climate um, aerial you can some of you can get uh, what's the name uh, raster data from here but we will come to raster data okay and hopefully it might be part of the list okay so but for now this, this, these are places where you can get uh, vector data for your project okay diva gis geofabric hot um, exports osm um which one is this again okay start silk okay start silk and then finally map cruising okay um, so I think you can try this and I'm very sure there are more USGS I didn't list all of them because well, there are so many of them. There are actually a lot of places you can get data from The point is make sure you know the type of data you're looking for its quality depending on the projects you need to do and Also the availability of whether it's free or not. Okay the availability of that data all right, so um, Let's later on we we'll, I'll show you how to Bring this data into your QGIS. But for now, this is the end of this video.